150 Pro PCIe slotted uh, game capture card. I spent a nice seven hours trying to figure out how to fix this. Basically, the problem was the HDMI cables were going from the Xbox to the capture card to the monitor, right? But OBS kept coming up with a no signal um, screen and it was infuriating and I couldn't fix it. I watched many YouTube tutorials, didn't help. I went through many Reddit posts and couldn't find a fix either. Sorry about the inability to edit the video to be nice and snappy. I don't have the software, so I'm doing this literally in one take with just OBS, okay? Um, so basically, the first thing that you need to do is run a HDMI cable from your console directly to your monitor. Make sure your HDMI cables run at the best optimal performance, meaning there is no screen tearing, there is no pixelation or anything like that. Once you have all of your HDMI cables uh, basically tested, what you want to do is, this is the thing that fucked me and I spent so long trying to figure out. Go to your console. Now, I'm using Xbox. It could be PlayStation that has these settings. I don't know. But you want to go to settings, okay? Settings is nice and easy. You want to go to TV and display options. And right there, display. I had mine set on 1440p. Now, I don't really know what I'm talking about, but I can only assume that my Xbox is putting out 1440p, but my OBS is trying to only recognize 1080p as the settings that I have attached. That's the highest OBS will go with my, my software and everything. So, bump it down to 1080 or 720, maybe 720 will work for you, and accept that and then go back. And that should fix everything. It should, it, uh, I'm it generally like th this sort of shit happens in stages and every stage is a different problem that has many other problems eventually from it. But if it doesn't work from there, right? And forgive the infinite screen that you're about to see, then you go to your PC, right? Now, I don't know if you can see it, but here I've got um, nothing in the ways of El Elgato on here. So what you want to do, is come down to your little start bar, right click, go to device manager. You can't see it under my thing, but it'll be there. Okay. And then you want to, I'm just trying to figure this out well, because I'm only using one screen, bear with me. All right. Then you want to go to sound, video, and game controllers. Hit the little arrow just there. And then th this is where every other YouTube video comes up with their own little tip, right? It sort of works, it sort of doesn't, but I'm going to walk through it anyway. So you go to Game Capture HD 60 Pro, you right click. First thing you do is disable device, okay? So you click disable device and that will probably prompt you to restart your PC. Do it, okay? Once your PC restarts, do the same process again of right clicking the start bar, going to device manager, going back to the sound software, uh, sound video and game controllers, and then go activate device, okay? If that doesn't work and OBS still has a no signal, then the next step is to bring this window back up and then go uninstall device. You'll be prompted with this little window, then go to delete the driver software for this device. That basically just strips your PC of all the recent drivers for that piece of equipment in your site, inside your computer, sorry. Then you hit uninstall. I'm not doing it because I've luckily just got it to work, so I'm not fucking around with it anymore, right? Then, I'll leave a link in the description of the video below. Go into the website, find Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 8, whichever version of Windows you're using, but go to that one. For me, it'll be Windows 10. So go to Windows 10 and find HD60 Pro latest drivers. Click the link, it'll come up with a little install, and then you should have this file, okay? So all you need to do is open it, go yes, and it will install everything. The driver version is already installed, so for you it'll be driver install is now complete. Just click OK, and everything's all golden. All right, so it comes up saying complete. You hit next, install installation successful. Click close. Job well done. Okay. Um, look, for me it was mostly the Xbox side of things, right? So going into those settings, it, I, I imagine it would be the same for PlayStation, but going into these settings and changing your resolution output would help 
checking your HDMI cables first of all is the biggest step you could do because maybe you're not running a high enough power output for a, for a HDMI cable, right? Then it's the output resolution of the console going into the, the capture card. Maybe they're not being recognized as um, the same resolution, the same outputs, okay? Then you start screwing around with activating and deactivating the, the um, capture card. Then after that, the last step should be reinstalling drivers, okay? I'm trying to make this like the simplest step through to the more advanced steps. Now, the other thing in um, OBS, if I just quickly throw a, a source in here, right? Um, basically, we're going to go game, game capture so that way you see the Xbox. There's this little button here as well, okay? This is like one of the other activate deactivate settings, okay? Um, let's just make sure this can be seen. So just here, there's deactivate. That's basically the same deal as opening device manager and disabling the device. It's turning it off from OBS being able to read it, but then you hit activate again and it turns it back on. It's like a little inside the software uh, refresh button. But I have been spending hours and hours and hours looking for a fix on this problem and I couldn't find it and I spent hours and hours and hours trying to fix it and I found out it was just the simplest thing on my console. So hopefully that helps you guys if you have other solutions in the comments below. If you have uh, problems that you might have with the HD60 Pro S, I've seen there's a lot of problems. The 4K has also had a couple of problems. The 4K MK2 has had a couple of problems as well. Drop them all down. Let's make this like a universal thread for fixing these capture cards because they're high end. They need to be more um, more consistent in not needing to download drivers and deactivate and activate and all that sort of shit. So yeah, hopefully this fixes your problems. Hopefully you can start streaming. Hopefully you can make YouTube videos and be the best fucking person you can be. Cheers for checking out the video. Much appreciated. And uh, yeah, drop a like.